As discussed in part 1, we learned that different viruses have different keys that can open different locks and different doors. Viruses are very small, so how small are viruses? They are so small that even bacteria cannot see them. And sometimes viruses also infect bacteria. So can you imagine how tiny they are? Now imagine if our whole body is a planet. So different parts are different countries. So different countries will ultimately have different locks and different doors. So different viruses will target different countries because they have different keys that can open only that part of the organ or that part of our body. Now one good example is the influenza virus or flu virus. Flu comes from the word influenza, by the way. So influenza virus targets epithelial cells. So where do we have epithelial cells? We have a lot of epithelial cells on our respiratory tract. So that's why influenza targets this respiratory area. When viruses use our bodies to produce babies, our cells rupture, they die. That is why during flu, during an influenza attack, we develop very painful sore throat because they target our epithelial cells and during the pro process, our epithelial cells get damaged. Let's look at HIV. Why is the HIV virus so deadly? HIV targets white blood cells. So HIV is actually using our white blood cells as factories to produce their babies. And what happens during that production? Our cells die. Our cells get destroyed. Our white blood cells will actually get destroyed by HIV. So imagine, we have lesser white blood cells and since this HIV is using white blood cells to replicate and produce their new babies, HIV increases. So the more they increase and the lesser our white blood cells are, we have actually a very imbalanced system. That is why most people that have HIV, they don't die because of HIV. They die because of other diseases or other invaders that actually attack the body and the body cannot fight. So now we know flu virus attack epithelial cells. HIV virus target our white blood cells. How about the novel coronavirus COVID-19? What is its target? Now COVID-19 is a novel coronavirus, it's very new, we don't have much information, but based on current information, it is shown that COVID-19 actually targets one type of um, matter in our body. It's an enzyme. It's called angiotensin converting enzyme 2, or in short, ACE2. Where can we find ACE2? We can find ACE2 in many parts of our body. But ACE2 is also very abundant in lungs, heart, kidneys. These are also the organs that are damaged in not just infected patients, but also in aging or elderly people. As we age, our immune drops. So naturally, we have a lower immune system and defense. And if we look at our elderly, they would most probably have illnesses related to their lungs, to their heart, to their kidneys. So that is why elderly is very vulnerable for COVID-19. Not just that, people, normal younger patients, but if they have underlying diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, coronary heart diseases, they are also at higher risk for COVID-19's targets.